Hello kids, Shubha Mangalam at Little Scholar High School. I am Sangeeta Singh, taking 6th standard, subject English and the topic to be discussed today is Unit 1, Lesson 3, Grand Contest in the Forest. So before starting the lesson, let us look at the new words. Contest. So what do you mean by contest? It is a competition or any event in which people compete in a sport or any other activity. For example, like the competitions which are held in the school, like you take part in the running race or uh, jumping race, etc. Now, excitement. What is excitement? It is a feeling of great enthusiasm. It is a strong feeling. Gulmohar. It is a tree. It is a flowering plant with orange or red flowers which is usually called as flame of the forest. Laburnum. It is a small tree with groups of yellow flowers which would be hanging down. Palash. It is a tree with red flowers. It is supposed to be very sacred. Turquoise. It is a bluish green color which you find generally in the feathers of the peacock. Snapped. Break suddenly and completely. It is typically with a sharp cracking sound. When something breaks, it makes a sharp cracking sound. That is called snap. Emerald. It is a gemstone which is green in color and it is mostly used in jewelry. Stream. It is a small narrow river. Tumbled is to collapse or having fallen down. Trilled. Trilled is to produce a quavering or warbling sound like it's a soft sound made by the birds like lark. Cood. It is to make a soft murmuring sound. It is usually, it is referred to the sound made by the pigeon or dove. Despair means the complete loss or absence of hope. Balmy. It is characterized by pleasantly warm weather. Tinkled. Tinkled is to make a light, clear and ringing sound. Like for example, when a coin falls down, it makes a light ringing sound that is tinkle sound. Scamper. Run with quick, light steps. Especially through fear or excitement. It's called scamper. Marveled. To be filled with wonder or astonishment. Radiance. A light or heat as emitted or it is reflected by something is radiance. Sparkling. It means shining brightly with flashes of light. Now let us proceed to the lesson Grand Contest in the Forest. It is a very interesting lesson kids. It is specially about the birds, animals and the trees. So it was a day of the contest among the creatures of the forest. It was a day of the competition among the creatures means animals of the forest. The animals the birds and the trees were very excited and they began to prepare for the great day. They were waiting for the day of the competition when they would give their best to the great one except the little grey squirrel. And there was excitement in the air. There was going to be a grand contest. So why was there excitement in the air? Because there was going to be a grand, a grand contest in the forest. Everyone should show something special. In this contest, every, crea every creature should perform their special abilities and the best one would be praised by the Lord of Air, Wind, Water and Sun. The animals, birds and the trees began preparations for the great day. But a little grey squirrel was in great despair. It did not have any hope. The little grey squirrel didn't understand what he could offer. When all the other animals started preparation, but the grey squirrel was unable to do anything. The laburnum shone like sparkling sunshine. The gulmohar tree dressed herself so that she looked like the early morning sun. Golden red spreading radiance. The bear offered the best honey he found. And the elephant got the fresh and the best fruit and laid them at the great one's feet. And the next one is the palash. It decorated the forest with her beauty. And the mango tree announced that its mangoes are ready. And the peacock said that emeralds and turquoises are his feathers. And the lark sang a very beautiful song. And the dove cooed. 
and said that the great one would love her soft notes, the soft music which is produced by it. In this way, every animal and every tree offered something to the great one. There were plenty of gifts and beautiful things around, but the little gray squirrel remained silent. He thought and thought. He decided to do the best. The little squirrel found hollow branches and filled them with as many nuts and seeds of different trees as he could find. The next day, everyone was ready. The great one came. So when the great one came, everyone laid their gifts at the great one's feet. Then the great one looked at the little gray squirrel and asked why it was silent. Then the squirrel replied that he had nothing grand to offer and he scampered away. He ran away from there. And after some time he returned dragging his hollow dry branches which were filled with nuts and seeds of different trees. Then the great one gave prize to the little squirrel. He said that he could use the seeds and sow them. New life would burst forth from those seeds and the trees would bear more fruits for our future needs, he said. And the great one said that it is a gift not only for today but also for our tomorrow. So when all the animals were expecting the gift or the prize but they were all uh, disappointed because the little grey squirrel was given the prize. While the rest of the animals and the birds thought of the present, the little grey squirrel thought of the future. So he was offered the prize and all the creatures said three cheers for the little squirrel. Okay students, I hope all of you understood today's lesson, Grand Contest in the Forest. And I want all of you to note down today's Sakshi. Classwork, explain unit 1, lesson 3. Homework, read lesson 3 and write new words in the classwork. So with this lesson, we have completed unit 1 entirely and uh, I hope all of you understood all the three lessons that is peace and harmony second one was I want peace and the third one was grand contest in the forest and I also hope all of you are updating your classwork